Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Warren Bennett. We got Trev actually decided to come out and I don't blame him because it's absolutely beautiful out here. So a good time to do a video um, which is all about getting the steering wheel to the golf swing correct. Now I'm going to tell you what that is because if you can get the one thing right to help another and I say that in many videos don't I? Because what we don't want to do while we're in motion we don't want to be thinking about a jumble of things going around in our head. Number one, it's very hard to do because it's happening so quickly. Really, you're not gonna probably improve those things anyway because what we feel and what is real are two different things. So I'm gonna tell you what the steering wheel to the golf swing is and how it can improve you no matter if you're a slicer of the ball, a hooker of the ball, a beginner and elite player. So this is a good all rounder, let's say. So just gonna get set up, get the other camera ready and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so steering wheel to the golf swing. So what I see many golfers do is, uh, is be imbalanced. And what you don't want to be in golf is imbalanced. So what I mean by that is, remember what I've said in previous videos, the golf swing's broken down and our body's broken down into three parts, our legs, body, arms, and hands. And what you don't want to do is have one outrate another. So they, for instance, if you're an over the topper, um, I'll try not to hit Trev here. So Trev, you just do you want to lie down, bud? Have a lie down, good boy. Um, it's good to see you back though, Trev, isn't it? Good boy. Oh dear, uh, you know you can't stand there. Good boy. Come on, away from you go, good boy. And how we kind of break these body parts down. But let's just say, for instance, the most common one is too much of a, a top half influence on the way down to the ball. That's gonna affect how your arms are gonna swing. Or let's just say for the more elite player, the bad fault is probably a little bit too army, so their, their arms are kind of doing too much and their body isn't doing enough. And I would say the steering wheel to the golf swing is how we move our top half. And I will break this down for any slices of the ball, and I'll break it down for any hookers and pushers of the ball. So let's just start with the slices of the ball. What you're looking for, you're looking to introduce a little bit too, a little bit more arm swing in front of the body. You're not looking for the body to outrace the arms here and then the arms have to catch up and cut across. Now I would say the steering wheel feel for you guys, I would introduce two things. So number one, I would introduce, if you can, a little bit more coil and turn. Now what I don't want you to do is coil and turn isn't sway. You can see what I've done now to sway way off the ball. You can see the line, line going through the yellow ball and if I turn and sway off the ball that's incorrect. You're looking to coil your belly button and move your hips and obviously your shoulders are going to come along for the ride. Really important that, very very important. The body will want to feel like more of a turn but I don't want you to overturn and overturn means sway here because you're not gonna get back to the ball in time, you're gonna be incorrect. And that's with every club, because if you're doing it with a driver, more off the left foot, so you're gonna be behind the ball naturally anyway, without, without swaying. So I can twist there, you can see with the yellow line, I'm behind the ball, because I started behind the ball. With an iron, I've got a seven iron here, pretty central, maybe just about off my left ear that you can see the line there. And all I'm doing is twisting, and my steering wheel to my backswing is the way my body coils there. You can see I'm allowing everything to turn. Knee kicks in there. You can see there from the swing there. My knee kicks in. It doesn't go out. That's going to restrict me. And it doesn't move, not move either. Because what you don't want to do, you don't want to be static. So the steering wheel backswing is going to help this downswing. Nice coil of the belly button. Weight's going back into my right side. I'm staying pretty central still. But I've got a nice, nice bit of weight on my right leg there and into my right bum. Okay, so I'd say that backswing feel and those kind of ingredients there is for everyone. So this is now really where the steering wheel takes over. For you slices of the ball and you over the toppers and steep, I'd like you to feel like this chest, shoulder blades here, my back is still being very passive and that allows my arms to drop in the slot without me having to pull down. Okay, so I've had a couple of questions because what initiates my downswing? Is it my left hand pulling down? Is it my right hand? Well, I would say it's neither because what's initiating my downswing is gravity, is lightness. I'm allowing this thing just to drop down. And that's really important what I say, I'm allowing it to drop down. Now I'm in this backswing position. It's allowing me just to be nice and passive. Remember you slices, you're allowing this to drop down. 
because remember lightness produces natural speed keeping you back to the target keeping my chest pointing to that back camera and that allows so you can do a few of these swings here but I'm allowing my arms to drop now obviously that's too much how much down there is because I'm allowed to be because I'm still so closed look how closed I am obviously that is exaggerated as soon as I lay a speed on that I'm going to hopefully blend those three ingredients remember legs body arms and hands so it's all about that blend so you're kind of feeling like your shoulders still in your peripheral vision here and this allows this thing to drop in the slot and underneath and inside from there you can work on that release but mainly the club will do everything for you so you might have to introduce some some release but if you keep your head nice and still and just let all this go and be nice and light this is the big key for my swing here that answer to that question is what initiates the downswing is just lightness. I'm not pulling down, I'm not being um, quick with it. I'm allowing this to drop down because remember, lightness produces speed and it's natural speed. I'm not trying to be quick here. Speed comes from lightness and then letting that go, letting that angle go and allow these arms to drop down. Beautiful. And then from there, you can feel some release trust that this club's going to drop in the slot it may not be as much as what you'd like but if you keep this nice and passive this will happen for you coil get your shoulder into your chin and then just keep this as passive as possible and then allow the release to happen you might have to introduce another feel long term but remember you're just breaking this down especially in practice you might start hitting it to the right without the draw to start with because you have because you need to educate your hands but just be patient remember work on one area first and then let it all come because the more let's just say you slices you know you've had to hold on before on chicken wing well you probably didn't work on that chicken wing did you it just comes because of the action and the path and now you're trying to initiate a little bit more of the opposite Trevor I can't have you there away bud good boy good coil you can see I'm really twisted here I'm not keeping my legs really st stiff there's movement and if you're struggling with a bit of movement because of your mobility allow all this left heel to kick in doesn't matter doesn't care I don't care what you do really with this left leg all this left leg wants to do is give you the chance to coil and get back and twist behind the ball without swaying remember and then from here you're keeping it nice and light keeping that steering wheel nice and centered you're not moving that steering wheel because you're allowing these arms to drop in front of you i really wish you could feel my arms they're like not one out of ten in terms of lightness and lightness produces speed remember especially under pressure keep it nice and light okay so the same backswing is for you if you struggle with a bit of a hook but your your steering wheel for your swing is still your torso but now you're moving your torso because the hookers of the ball have probably got a little bit too much inside, a little bit too passiveness of this torso and this chest, and they've probably got too much arm swing on the way through. So you need to feel like your steering wheel for your swing is rotation, you are moving. Trust your arms and hands. I got a question from Dave, I think, and he's saying, well, every time I try and feel like a release, I hook it, and every time I feel like a like I move my body and twist my body, I hit it really nicely. Well, Dave, then I would say, trust that your arms and hands are gonna go along for the ride. So he's probably got enough arm swing, so trust that. Trust that's gonna come along for the ride. And what you've gotta do is work on your body rotation. Okay, so you hookers of the ball, let's do the opposite on the way through, okay? So the same backswing, you're still coiling, you're still twisting, your shoulder's still into your chin there. But from here, you're trusting that this is gonna happen, so you don't even think about that. And then from here, you're working on your body rotation all the way through, which basically means your body, left pocket, is turning round. It's not being static, you're not, not moving. Get this round all the way through. You're turning it round over your left heel. This belly button, as you can see, I'm right round here. I'm not over the top. I'm not pushing out here at all. And then we're gonna do a little half swing and then we're going to be totally twisted on the way through. You can see I haven't released yet, but I've really released my body. We've got to get release round. Okay, head nice and still, twist, head nice and still, and twist. 
can see how much rotation I am through the ball with that slow motion swing. Remember, trust your arms are going to do the work for you. You need to now blend. Remember, the three things, sorry to be a broken record, legs, body, arms and hands. You've got too much arms and hands, so you need to introduce some body to give you that balance. Okay, and you can work on just doing the same thing here. Nice, look how much rotation I have there. So if you've got arrows sticking out of your body here, get it twisted round as early as possible from the top of the backswing. Bang, bang. And that'll sort out that release. Now, if you're used to being active with your right hand or your release, and you start now releasing your top half as well and your body, and it starts to go left, you know you've done your body well, but you haven't, you haven't pacified the club head as well. So what I mean by that is you're keeping that release nice and, nice and uh, passive. You can see there, I kind of haven't let that release go yet. So the ball's gonna tell you how your release is in terms of if the ball starts straighter, you've done a nice release of your body, but now you need to pacify your arms and hands by probably keeping your right hand under a little bit more. Remember, that's not for you sliders at all. You just kind of keep that passive, you're going to keep that club head nice and kind of pointed to the sky feeling. Okay, and then you can introduce some balance. So good twist, good coil, turn through and hold. So you're kind of holding that right hand under a little bit more you're not releasing over. It's all a blend, isn't it? It's where golf is difficult because you've got all these moving parts and you're trying to blend them and you can't feel it. But I'd say the steering wheel to a golf swing is how you're using your torso. And basically your shoulders are involved in that and your hips are involved in that. Just a little summary, you slice of the ball from this position, you need to be a bit more passive and allow your arms and club to swing past you. The feel is my, the uh, trunk is still pointing at that front camera, it's exaggerated. And you hookers of the ball, you need to do the opposite. Same backswing, but from here you've got to trust that this is happening. And then from there you're kind of feeling like your arrow of your trunk is beating the club to impact. You're going to feel basically more open on the way through. And then you pacify your release. Okay, so I really hope that helps. So, this is where golf is really difficult, everyone. And as we know, it's really difficult. And you want to try and give the club and your arms the best chance to come down to that ball more effectively, consistently, and a little bit more speed. Because the speed should be natural. It shouldn't be a thrash. So that transition is really important. All I'm doing is introducing a feel of keeping this passive to allow your arm swing to happen if you're a slicer of the ball that is. And this is why you see these top pros and these elite golfers look like they're not really putting a lot of effort in but there's a lot of speed and compression and natural speed down the bottom there. If a golfer is putting in too much work so you can see a lot of people who kind of struggle with distance are putting in too much work aren't they? And the ball doesn't go very far or the seven iron goes the same distance as the five would you're lacking speed and this exercise of the steering wheel will really help you so i really hope that helps so from a very sunny uk thank you very much for watching i really appreciate everyone's support if you've got any questions i'd love to hear from you um, if this is anything of interest i'd love you to subscribe and if you'd like to send in any swings or questions please do so by via uh, the comments below or any of the Instagram or Facebook pages down there. So thanks very much everyone. So for myself and Trev, he's still sunning himself in the garden, why not? We've got to take advantage of this sun, especially in February in the UK. Um, we bid you farewell and have a great golfing week everyone. Please stay healthy on and off the golf course and we'll see you on the next video. Cheerio!